Hey guys, I'm back again. Got another video for you. I want to talk about Fabio Carvalho. Now, there's a tweet that's come out today from Fabrizio Romano. And normally we need tweet stuff out as exclusive. Like, he's put exclusive here, but the first I heard of this was over on Cop Talk before he even tweeted this. So, take that as what you will. Anyway, he's tweeted out that Liverpool have opened talks with RB Leipzig to bring Fabio Carvalho back in January due to insufficient game time. Liverpool, oh sorry, Carvalho could start in the Champions League tonight, but he only played 257 total minutes so far this season and Liverpool are not happy with this loan. Decision on next steps to be made soon. Now, if we look at transfer market, and we see his actual breakdown of what he's done. He's made two appearances in the Champions League, 31 minutes. Bundesliga, seven appearances, 145 minutes. The German Cup, two appearances, 69 minutes. One appearance in the German Super Cup, 12 minutes. <laughs> so this guy isn't getting a look in over there. And to be fair, I feel like he's gone there at the wrong time because I feel like they didn't they sign Xavi Simmons at the same time as him? And that two players that play in a very similar position, I think he's just got the short, the short end of the straw here. Like, you know what I mean? He's he's had a bit of a tough time. I think I felt like he played really well when he was at Fulham, albeit in the championship, but he racked up some right goals and he had seemed to have the correct attitude about him. He wanted to be, go on to do the Ballon d'Or, you know, looking up to Cristiano Ronaldo, both Portuguese. It obviously makes sense. And then he came to Liverpool and if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I kind of feel like we played him in the wrong position. You know, when he was at Fulham, he was used to playing as like a second striker or as a number 10 just behind, you know, Mitrovic. And that's where he seemed to get a lot more uh, of his, you know, success in what he was doing. And when he came to us, we kind of just stuck him out on the right wing. Um, he had that goal where obviously he scored against Newcastle at the back at the end of the game. Is that right? Where Nunes stood up, I think, and told the Newcastle bench to fuck off or fuck you or something like that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just honestly, guys, I don't know where this guy's career is going to go, in all fairness, because I was sure that something happened when he went out on loan, that he made some comments, I'm sure he did, he made some comments about how he didn't get on with Klopp and I've had a bit of a look and I've found them. So, <coughs> I'm just going to read his quotes. I'm going to skip down a little bit. So, um, where is it here? So, he was basically asked, you know, did Klopp help you in your decision making when you moved to Leipzig? And he said, I don't really speak to him, to be fair. Uh, he didn't really give me any advice. I just had to learn as I go, and I feel that is better for me to mature anyway, both as a person and a footballer. And then it's also claimed in Transfer Market's report, though this is not obviously in Cavalio's words, that basically Cavalio was not a signing advocated by Klopp, so it's not he was not a Klopp signing, and instead he was one led by people no longer involved in the club's transfer business. So you would basically think that that could have been Julian Ward. And then he was basically said himself here, I was told that I would play as a number 10, but we didn't really play with a number 10 at all when I was at Liverpool. When we play over 10, then I can be get on my prominent side and I'm able to turn. That is why I would say it didn't work out. Whether I will be here or at Liverpool next year, we will have to see how it works out. So they're not ultra scathing comments, but it's something that, you know, I wouldn't bring back into the club. So for me, after them comments that he's basically mentioned there, I feel like Liverpool are basically just going to bring him back and ship him back out again. You know, I may be wrong. They might bring him in. Maybe he'll get a role, you know, as basically a, a Sabozlai backup or a McAllister backup or something like that, you know, that maybe suit me a little bit more in this new system. He definitely can't get stuck out on that win again because it just doesn't suit the way he plays at all. But it's not worked out for him there. So that's two years now of his career where he's kind of stuttered a little bit. And yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know down below what you think you do with Cavalier. Do Do you rate him? 
do you think he's going to come back and play or do you think he's going to come back and basically just get shipped back out again? Let me know down in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.